Hello, my name is Trung Ling Nguyen, and I am the author of The Magic Fish, and I'll be doing a short reading for you today from the graphic novel. Um, since this is a graphic novel, I'm going to be adding some details that are not necessarily on the page. This is all stuff that I hope that the reader will be able to do for themselves while they're reading a graphic narrative. So here we go. Claire and Tian meet at a soccer field. Claire, Tian calls out. Hey, over here, I've got juice boxes. Nice, Claire responds. Have you seen Julian? Tian and Claire observe Julian playing with great confidence. Look at him go! He's gotten so fast since last year, Claire remarks. Yeah, Tian says. He's been practicing all summer. Hey, Julian says as he walks by. We still on for ice cream after this? Oh, I forgot my ice cream money, Tian says. I got you covered. You can owe me one. It's no fun if you can't have one, too. You don't have to. He'll owe you one, Claire interjects. Number 10, Coach calls out. Let's get back in the game. You can chit-chat after the scrimmage is over. Uh-oh, gotta get back in there. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and Tian? Julian says. What? Tian responds. Sweet patches, by the way. Tian's eyes light up. Thanks. Claire leans in. You like him. Not so loud, Tian protests. I'm not ready to tell anybody yet. You can tell Julian. He'd be cool with it. His aunt's gay and her girlfriend's over all the time. Yeah, but it's different because it's, it's him, you know? Yeah, yeah, I gotcha, but consider telling him. We've all been friends since the fourth grade and I know you don't like keeping secrets from us. I did tell you. That's enough for now, Tin responds. You haven't told your folks yet? Claire asks. I mean, I want to. I tried looking up how to tell them at the library, Tian explains. The librarian and I couldn't find the word for it in Vietnamese. It felt weird, technically coming out to the librarian before I even told my parents. It's all weird. I'm sure your parents would understand if you told them, Claire says. Ah, uh, I'm not really sure. What if they already know when they're in denial? What if they don't love me anymore? Tian, that won't happen, Claire assures him. It could. I read it happens sometimes. At any rate, I can't tell them yet. My grandma's not doing well, and my mom's worried sick. She's got a lot going on. I don't think she'd take it well right now. You two talking about me? Julian interrupts. Yes, all bad things, Claire teases. All great things, I bet. Anyway, what kind of ice cream am I getting you, Tian? I don't know yet. I'll have to see what they've got. If you can't make up your mind before we get to the counter, I'm going to pick one for you. Just a warning. Anything but mint. Hey, what's your jacket size? Claire asks. After ice cream, Tian arrives back at his house. I'm home. Hey, says Helen. How are Julian and Claire? They're good. Julian got the jersey number he wanted this year. Number 10, just like his favorite player, Diego Maradona. Good for him. He's gotten so tall all of a sudden. Must be on his mom's side. Karen's pretty tall. What are you working on? Tian asks. Not much. Just a special assignment. I've been working with a very important client. Can we pick up where we left off in the princess story? Sure, Tian says. And they continue reading a fairy tale. <laughs>